right. Well, uh, we're about to get started here. Uh, sorry that it took so long to to get this to get this going here. So this us right here. Yeah, it's us right here. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> yeah, we got Beatrice, and Anthony is somewhere at the moment. Uh, he's probably tending to his child. Oh, there he is. Oh, there's oh, him. The, what is it that's on your shirt? What is the, the thing that... It, oh. Me? Rich? Yeah, what's that? Uh, the obnoxious uh, rapper things. I'm the guy with the obnoxious necklaces this evening. So I have... There's always one of Napoli, them. Napoli, my good friend from Facebook. You may have seen him before. <laughs> and of course, my name and and uh, my face, because everyone needs to have a lanyard with their name and their face on it. I well, feel. How else would you know that it's you? Right, exactly. And we, of course, are here for the Dreamers Podcast one year anniversary. And you can hashtag during the show, and we're hashtagging How to Dream. Yeah, man. So, uh, so please do that. Yeah, definitely. Take some pictures, uh, some selfies. We want to. Uh, <laughs> we're trying to raise some money tonight too. Uh, the whole idea of this is to raise money for give, give kids, kids the world. world. Yeah, man. They give uh, they give kids uh, a chance to be kids, and they're you know dealing with life threatening illnesses. So you get, raise you know we want to raise some money for them. It's a good we got cause. Some behind us we're here. supporting it. They're trying to file in to go watch this live on TV in the living room. So, because <laughs> <laughs> there's nothing like live on TV, right? Yeah, yeah. Hi. 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 Hey, Kathy, welcome to the show. Hey, hi, B. Hi, hi, Joe. Hiya. Hi. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We're just uh, getting ready to get started here. We have uh, <clears throat> some fun games and events to hopefully raise some money for Give Kids the World. And uh, I got my, my man, Rich Quick, here, who was generous enough to be here, uh, wants to give us a little uh, performance. At and, some point. Yeah, at, so, at some point. We're, we're going to get to that. Uh, but since uh, we already have some people in the room, why don't we do a quick, uh, quick follow-up first with uh, you, Beatrice? Oh, let's see. In the past year, my uh, life has changed quite a bit. So um, since our recording, I... Haven't done as much in the fitness industry as like doing as many races that we talked about and things like that. But um, basically, I lost my mom, dad, and husband within eight weeks, and it was probably about a month after we recorded. So it's been a lot of healing process and um, just you know getting better and getting up every single day and and just making a better day. So yeah, there's a lot of good stuff going on, so I got a lot of good things to report coming up. I'm sure I'll get into a lot more fun stuff. <laughs> but this year has been a lot about healing and recovery and just inspiring things every day to just keep everybody going, including me. <laughs> so. We love you, Beatrice. Oh, I love you guys, too. You guys got me through it. <laughs> So, uh, you know, it, it has been a really crazy year for you, and uh, it's amazing what you've been able to pull through in that year, and the amazing people that have stood up around you in yeah. the meantime. So uh, I'm, I'm very happy to have been one of those people to be there. Through. And you have been. You guys have all been so wonderful, and um, honestly, without all the support from everybody, I, I truly don't know how I could have just kept my head going in a positive direction because some days you know it's kind of tough to keep going in that way so you know without everybody around me you know that that truly helps and your inspiration your you know your dreamers podcast man hearing other people doing it keeps you going so really? you guys do a great job well thank you thank you um, Kathleen is one of the newer uh, alumni for the dreamers podcast hey. Yeah, I'm representing. Woo! Look at that. Look at that. Thank you so much for uh, for, for supporting that, the uh, the hashtag how to dream. So h how are you doing tonight, Kathleen? Oh, just running around like crazy. We're uh, heading down to Walt Disney World next week. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Who's happy about that? Oh, gosh. <laughs> yeah, this evening. It's a big trend. <laughs> 
<laughs> and we're, uh, we're all very fortunate to be able to go. And uh, for those that don't know, Kathleen uh, runs SpecialMouse.com, helping families with special needs, uh, whether it's autism or, or pregnancy or one of the other countless other reasons that you would need special, need, you know, have special needs or special attention needed for your vacation to Disney World. Did I did I blow that? Did I did I do it right? Uh, well, yeah, that's that's pretty much. It's uh, we do a lot of uh, special needs trip reports. I like to give people with all kinds of uh, health challenges, special needs, and disabilities. I want to give them a voice in the Disney podcast world. Uh, talk about their experiences. Uh, to give tips and advice to other travelers, uh, encouragement, uh, motivation so that they know that they're not alone and that they can do it. Uh, sometimes uh, a trip to Walt Disney World or any of the other uh, parks, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's quite a, a, an undertaking for a family particularly, but when you throw in some special needs or disabilities in the works, then it can become even more challenging. So. Uh, so we like to give out uh, some tips, advice. I have a, a community of people that uh, help each other out, and they're probably doing it right now. I mean, I don't even have to be there, and they're they're all helping each other out and answering questions and and everything. So it's great. It's a it's a great podcast and a great community, and uh, it's my baby. <laughs> and you should totally go check out her episode. It just came out, uh, like, I think like a week or two ago. Um, I go I go through them so quickly. It's it's hard to. <laughs> It's hard to uh, keep up exactly, um, but thank you for being here with us, Kathleen. I, I really appreciate it. And uh, actually, in here in the house, I mean, Rich Quick has been was a was a member of the uh, of the show. Was it like five or six months ago? Uh, probably about five or six months. Actually, ago. no. Was it still warm? It might have been still warm out. No, I don't think so. No? I think it was cold. I could. Hey, listen. <laughs> oh, yeah, but well, we had the it's family. It's always cold up there. Yeah, you're right. You're right about that. It's always cold up. Yeah, it come is, on It now. is not Orlando, Florida. <laughs> <laughs> Although it did look like it was going to rain earlier. See, what you don't know is that Rich Quick just came here from Massachusetts last, or he was performing last night up there, drove down today, this morning, and it was here about two hours after he land, well, landed, drove down, so... Uh, wow. An eight-hour eight drive in traffic. It was crazy. Wow. Ridiculous. But we're here. We're here tonight. That's awesome. And, and we're hashtagging how to dream in our posts and our tweets on social network in support of the Dreamers podcast one-year anniversary. And yeah, we're happy to be here. Yeah, man. It's, it's been an amazing, uh, amazing year. Uh, other guests, that previous guests that we've had on the show, we have Jason Nordoff. Uh, glad Jason, to be here come too. on, thanks for come having over me. Here, and, uh, All right, get in the frame. Let's, let's get in the frame. Let me put my uh, my beverage down here. <laughs> beverage. Uh, water. It's water. Yeah, of course it's water. Yeah, it has to be. What, what else would it be? Ex exactly. Red Solo cup. Yeah. So, so for <laughs> for for those that don't know or can't quite remember, uh, 180 episodes in, Jason Nordoff was on the show uh, to talk about donating a kidney to his uh, one of his best friends. Step yeah, stepfather, one yeah. of my best friends, yeah. And uh, it, it's something that I'd never thought two seconds about. Uh, he, he, actually, he didn't even ask me <laughs> to do it right away. He said, uh, uh, <laughs> sorry, go, go ahead. And uh, I saw on Facebook from a mutual friend that he needed a kidney, and I didn't think two seconds of it because I know that's something that they would do for me. And, uh, you know. Two years later, we had surgery, and then uh, everything's back to normal for him, for me. Everything's good, and uh, and I would do it again if I had an extra kidney to give. But I, <laughs> you know, I, I only have one left. I need it. It's a it's a trying process. I I from my, what I understand. Yeah, I was trying. I mean, we we started out at one hospital. We didn't like how some of the results came back. We didn't like how the staff was treating us. Not to name names, um, <laughs> but we ended up switching to another facility, and everything went went perfectly great and within six months rather than a year and a half from the previous facility um, I could have asked for a better experience but it was a four to six week recovery period I was out of work I was laid up in bed it's absolutely horrible being stuck in your house for four to six weeks with nobody visiting you uh, outside of your immediate family um, but you know we made it we're back I'm back I was back to work you know within five weeks and everything's everything's great 
help save a life, and everything's going well since then, right? Since yeah, everything's shot. great. Um, one of the one of the downfalls to receiving a kidney, if, if you're in that unfortunate situation, is that medicine is very very expensive. Uh, we're talking thousands of dollars a month, and part of what I talked about on my on my show on your podcast is how do we raise money to help him pay for his medications? And we had a cornhole tournament, which if anyone's not familiar with that, is you have the the pieces of wood with the circle, and you throw the bean bags in the circle for points. And we had a tournament. We raised $1,500 um, with the help of the Elks Lodge uh, that I'm a member of. And uh, from there, we haven't been closer to each other than, you know, from that point on. Uh, he's joined me for uh, walks to cure psoriasis. Uh, currently, um, I'm in a walk to um, actually a National Kidney Foundation. There's a walk in June, June 6th that we're doing in Trenton, our state's capital, to raise money for uh, kidney awareness, kidney research, um, kidney disease to, to help fight that. And uh, that's something that my sister and my fiance and I uh, are going to do. And hopefully they raise a lot of money to do that. Well, let me let me know where I can donate. Yeah, so absolutely. You give me a link. Yeah, I'll well, share it out. Yeah, and uh, I'll give it to you and uh, I'll, I'll tweet it out with the hashtag how to dream. And, thank you. Uh, thank you. But, but more importantly than that, tonight is we're raising money for, for Give the Kids. Uh, you know, give we kid, wanna, yes, give kids the world. Give kids the world. And we want to make sure that they have the opportunity to experience life that they wouldn't normally experience. Yes. Uh, it, yeah, it's, it's a great cause. Uh, so to, to donate, all you have to do is go to, how, to dream.co slash year. You're probably watching this video right now from that website. And on the right-hand side of the page, there's a giant logo that says Give Kids the World. You click there. You can donate right to their page. And uh, we are able to track all that from from here in the uh, in the head in the headquarters. Headquarters, I like it. <laughs> uh, another guest that we have here tonight is Jeanette. She was on the show quite early on. Uh, hello, Joe. Hello, it's good good to see you again. Good to see you too, Joe. She all the way down here from New York. Yeah. So, Came... uh, how's life been going for you since? Uh, for, it's like... it's been going. Um, yeah, my my episode was way back. I was one of the the first ones you recorded. I just remember it being released. I think it was like July of last year. It's probably about a year ago that we recorded. Maybe like yeah. the end of May. Yeah. yeah, it's been a while. Um, yeah, well, since it was such a long time ago, I am a freelance photographer. Um, you know, I shoot a lot of uh, entertainment, school photos, sports photos, and event photos. Anybody that pays me to take photos, I take photos. So it's 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 been a year to say the least. A lot of highs, a lot of lows, and you know, I'm still chugging along, doing my dream of photography. <laughs> <laughs> it's always exciting, day in and day out, ain't it? Yep, it's it's always something different every day. Well, I, I really appreciate you coming down here to enjoy. You got to hang out with the previous guest, another previous guest. Yes, this I did. Yes, uh, I did. The, the incredible Jim Hill. Mr. Jim Hill. Yes, I was in uh, New York City this morning. Uh, Jim Hill had a speech on uh, the history of Frozen, which was actually really cool. Got to see about some of the original concept they did and how the idea of the Snow Queen was something that Disney had dating all the way back to right after Snow White was released. That was one of the early ideas they had, along with The Little Mermaid, as I'm representing my girl Ariel here on my shirt for those who can see. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, we all, we all love our Disney yes. here. Yes, Ariel's my girl. Um, but, yeah, no, it was really, really cool getting to see how the, the movie basically evolved into what it became today. At one point, uh, the character of Elsa was supposed to be a. Um... Oh, it's raining. She was. Yeah, I think it's raining. Oh wow, it is raining. Uh, okay. Yeah. All right, we're gonna close this garage door then. All right. Well, apparently Elsa decided to do rain instead of snow. But uh, yeah, Elsa was actually. Thank goodness, it's not cold enough for snow, right? Yeah. Thank God, it's actually been really nice today. <laughs> So, um, yeah, so Elsa was actually supposed to be a show-stopping diva voiced by Bette Midler as opposed to Broadway's star and Dina Menzel. So it was actually really cool hanging with Jim Hill today. <laughs> well, hopefully I'll get to hang out with him someday in person. Yes, he's a very cool guy, a wealth of knowledge. <laughs> uh, Dave, would you like to step out? Another recent guest we just had, uh, com he completed his first full marathon uh, about... Well, actually, it was in January, so you're going back like four months already. 
crazy how time just flies like that when you're pumping out episodes three times a week. Uh, Dave Kosh. How's it going, Joe? Oh, it's going amazing. It, it would be going more amazing if, if, our, if our film that we're going to show you a little bit later on, um, <clears throat> we, uh, me and Dave did a, a film together with a, with a bunch of other people. Uh, you might recognize some of the faces in it. Uh, and, and unfortunately, it wasn't nominated for anything at the, for the film festival that we, we, we applied to. This film festival is going really big. Had it been a couple of years ago, we would have definitely got in. We did. We did a great job, though. For start off, it w it came out so much better than I hoped that it could ever do. So I really thank you for actually taking up the time to do this with me. So. Well, I appreciate you thinking of me, right? Because because Dave was like, well, I didn't think you would say yes because you do so many things at at once. Uh, how, you know, how the heck do you have time to do all this stuff? And I'm like, well, I I don't. But I'm gonna make the time, and I paid for it for days after the fact. But it was okay. It was totally worth it, and I can't wait to show it all to you later. For three day, for three weeks, it basically consumed our lives more or less. We had so many online meetings about this, and going text back and forth, and even arguing at times about how it should actually come out and what what should go on. So, it was it was quite an experience to say the least. Definitely. So uh, so you're still running. Everything's going well, right? Still running. Going to do uh, my first uh, goofy race and a half challenge in uh, January. So I kind of took a couple of um, about a month or so break after the marathon, and now kind of just really ramping up to really kind of train for that. Those, you know? those breaks are killer, man. It, it, it's <laughs> like you want your break, your legs want to break off. Your uh, your shins and the and the calf muscles get exactly. all tight again. Exactly. Getting it's back out there is not the most fun thing, but once you do it, it just you feel so much better. It's like, okay, why did I stop? Uh, I agree. Every time I take a break, I hate hate myself for it. Add to the fact. Um. So yeah. So anyway, uh, anything else big going on? Well, I have been working on my – I'm a teacher, and I've been working on a project using your uh, podcast, actually. Uh, I totally forgot about this. This is really, really cool. Real quick, go through it. All right. So uh, I'm an English teacher, and as a teacher, I'm supposed to tell my uh, students that you can do anything that you want if you set your mind to it. And I believe that. You obviously believe that, given the podcast and everything. But then I'm giving them stories which, of broken dreams, of mice and men, Romeo and Juliet, a raisin in the sun. I'm basically contradicting everything that I'm telling my students. So I wanted to kind of do something about that. I had a really good group of uh, 11th graders, my juniors, that I decided to, uh, for their, for their uh, term paper, they had to write a five to eight page paper on a persuasive essay on following your dreams. And one of the things I was teaching is how to, how to do uh, internet sources and how to... Uh, quote personal interviews. So I made Joe's podcast, the Dreamers podcast, part of the actual uh, research. They had to pick one of the shows, download the show, pick, pick one of the shows and talk about a past guest on how they uh, have been uh, following their dreams and talk about their uh, struggles and their, uh, and their triumphs. As a matter of fact, I have six more to edit before I send them back to them for... Uh, on Monday for uh, final draft, which I should probably get in two weeks. And this morning, I actually just uh, edited one that was talking about Jason. So, yeah, so I'm looking forward to seeing how these come out at the moment. They're still in the rough draft phase, uh, phase but I've been really impressed with some what some of these kids have been saying. So, we're gonna we're gonna come over the way to get these out. We were hoping to have it ready to go for this show, but uh, obviously, with like 30 some kids, uh, it's a lot of papers to grade. So. Just in that class, I got about 120 freshmen on top of that. So, but you know what? Either way, I appreciate the captive audience. Uh, it's it's greatly appreciated, Dave. So, oh, my uh, pleasure, Joe. I'm glad, to, <laughs> always glad to oblige. No problem. And uh, looking forward to, to reading some of these papers yes. and, and learning more about it. So, um, before uh, Lori is is in the house, all the way from Virginia. Now, Lori was here uh, on the show with me uh, quite a while ago, or I guess it wasn't too long ago, five, like four months ago, five months ago, because uh, I, I found out about Lori from uh, a friend, of, a, a mutual friend of ours, a podcaster, Wes Chapman. The, uh, oh, wow, it's uh, getting a little lightning out there. Oh. It wasn't even supposed to rain tonight. <laughs> go, go figure. 
All right, so uh, hopefully we don't lose power. <laughs> anyway, uh, we we be, you know we became friends. I seen that uh, her son had asked for her to to or she did he did a GoFundMe to raise money for a wheelchair that she needed, which was an ergonomic wheelchair. She needed it badly because of fuses in her back that were coming apart because of the cheer the crappy ten year old chair that she had, and it was way expensive. So I was like, you know what? Let's get her on the show. Let's see if we can raise some money. Uh, we only raised a little bit of money. I, I think like I don't know, a hundred dollars or hundred fifty bucks or something. Okay. But what happened next was amazing. Uh, and I, I'll meet before you go. I'm just gonna say I was at my desk where uh, many of you know I left my my family's business uh, a year ago, uh, or a little over a year ago. And I was in there. I was doing some tech work that I still do for them. And I sat down at my old desk. And just as I sat down, I get. Mm -hmm. A message from Lori saying, and now uh, that um, because of the podcast that got out on my Facebook and everything, and my church heard about it, and so a few weeks went by, and I got a letter in the mail with the check for the entire the difference to buy the wheelchair, and um, they wouldn't have done that. They wouldn't have known about it without the podcast. And so I've got the wheelchair. Actually, it just came a couple of days ago. Huh. Put Aww. together. And what you don't know is because of the podcast and the, what we've talked about dreaming and how I didn't really have any dreams, uh, I was too nervous of going out with my wheelchair and getting stuck and whatnot. So I don't have that fear because I've got this new chair now. So now I'm training for my first 5K. <laughs> What? That's awesome. That's so, awesome. Congratulations. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So you can do that in the wheelchair? In the wheelchair, yeah. Oh, my wow. Son, awesome. Yeah, my I son's helping me train. I didn't know like a special wheelchair for it. Well, when I got it, I got the wheels that were for marathons. So I got the, the best wheels so that I could do races. That's awesome. Well, I, I congratulations, and please let me know when you do so I we will. can get you in uh, back on the show I to will. talk about that experience because <laughs> I haven't had anybody. I mean, I've had runners, you know, Beatrice and Dave and, and myself and Michelle scribner McLean uh, and all these other people, but I haven't had anybody do it in a wheelchair, wheelchair. so that's, well, that's awesome. I'll be the first. Yes. <laughs> awesome, awesome, awesome. Uh, is Owen? Fantastic. Is Owen here? Is Owen? Uh, I see his his he's in the chat room, but he's muted. Oh, he's unmuted. Oh. Yeah, I'm here. Hey, Owen. Thanks for joining us. Hello. Sir, Sir Owen Disney. Hey, Owen. How are you? Hey, I'm great actually. How's it going? I'm just doing the YouTube life and relaxing, getting ready for another vacation. Sweet. Where are you headed? Where do you think? <laughs> <laughs> well, I was going to say, but you go to that other park. Yeah, that, that other park is doing amazing things right now. Don't forget that. Yeah. It's still the other park. <laughs> uh, 123 days. Ah, uh, nice. The countdown begins. It already has. <laughs> So, so Owen was on the show not too long ago, and uh, we talked about doing, you know, online uh, YouTube videos and all that stuff. How, it hasn't been that long ago, but how's it been since then? Well, we finally hit over ninety thousand subscri uh, subscribers, views. Ninety thousand subscribers, holy! Yay! Man. Somehow, some way, we got to ninety thousand wow. subscribers every night. I think Owen's gonna be calling soon. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no lie. Um, no, we finally hit over ninety-one thousand views on the channel. Wow. Congratulations. Thank you. Uh, we're still a little bit over 800 now when it comes to subscribers, so I'm still trying to get that magic 1,000 number. Uh, I'm sure you will get it, man. Just got to keep gotta keep at it every single day. Exactly. And then one day, 90,000 Nine, subscribers. Yes, that's, you, you Hashtag yes. Model Dream <laughs> on right Twitter, there. Facebook, all your social networks. I've been doing a ton of podcasts lately, so trying to get the word out there. Podcasts are a great way to do it, man. There's lots of dedicated listeners. There's lots of listeners who don't listen all the time. Jeanette, yep. Dave, Jason. I listen. I'm just back up a lot. I'm 
just just jacked up. Seventy five episodes back. Well, <laughs> it's quite all right. Quite all right. Uh, so anyway, uh, well, I, I uh, Anthony, are you here? Are you with us right now, Anthony? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here. Anthony Hayes is a unsung hero of the show uh, that n probably none of you have ever met before right this moment, uh, but that's okay. So Anthony uh, has his own show, Me, Myself, and I Radio, at memyselfandiradio.com, and, and him and I have connected over the last couple months, and I'm very thankful for the relationship that we have built because he, you know, he helped me set all this stuff up as far as making sure everything worked and sounded fine. Uh, I mean, it was Thursday night, and we were setting up in here uh, for, I don't know what, like two hours we were sitting in here making sure things, you know, trouble. Like that. And we're, I'm so thankful to the fact that it, it, it's working. At least until the power it's goes great. out. It's great. Everything, the... everything is running very smoothly. It looks like we, we, and we can see everybody. Everybody pops up when they start talking. I like that. Yeah, this is fancy, fancy stuff. Here. <laughs> this is uh, high tech. It's 2015. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> hey, and, Joe, I got my, my shirt in the mail, but it doesn't look I like, like yours. <laughs> <laughs> is, this, is this not the right shirt? No, I it was, though. <laughs> it's the wrong color shirt. <laughs> well, you know it's sports gray. It looks like you look like you got a sports gray shirt on. <laughs> it's just it's just white. Um, all, the whole white thing in the middle, not not so much. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe the tape. I don't know. <laughs> That's awesome. I love it. I should. I should do that too. Oh, I'm sorry, Beatrice. Go ahead. I said I should do that too. I like that. <laughs> 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 well, I do have some extra shirts. I made sure to order extras. For anyone that doesn't know, about uh, two weeks ago, I put out online that uh, I was selling these hashtag How to Dream shirts, and, and the idea was was to get 10% to give kids the world, uh, and and the idea was that I really wanted these shirts made. So I was like, well, if I could sell a bunch of them before I have to buy them, uh, then we can we can get them made. I like how they chose it. They, I mean... The preface of this is, I wanted shirts. <laughs> and so we decided to sell the shirts, too. Yes, yes. Well, because I, I was like, well, how, I, you know, I could just get a one-off, but it would have been a lot more expensive. Right. So, you know, for it was $12, and uh, they're, they're not online at the moment, but I once I go through all the ones that I have to give out, um, I should have some extra ones laying around. And uh, I'll probably put them online, and you can buy them for, for 12 bucks, and we'll donate some more money to give kids the world, and... Uh, I I think actually though the V neck the V neck is 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 hot. I didn't I'm wear it. A, I'm a fan of V necks. Joe, yeah. I'm right here. <laughs> I know I know. There's a lot of hair here. I and the v, <laughs> the V neck is really deep on the one. I I got two of them made, and and some people were unhappy about the fact that I got the, I got the only two. But that's okay. I'm not too worried about it. Uh, because next time around we're gonna do the V necks. They're a little more expensive, but. It's not too bad, like an extra dollar fifty or something. But we have a new visitor. Oh, Dewey. Who's the Dewey? Dewey? No. Oh, no. maybe they jumped in, jumped out. Ah, uh, jumped out. But uh, but yeah. So uh, but yeah, Anthony. Hopefully, you'll have your shirt on Monday. Uh, like the, the mail, you know, the good old postal service says that you you will, and you won't have to have a counterfeit one. <laughs> Cool, man. Thanks, thanks for having me. It's been a pleasure to be a part of it, and uh, I appreciate everything that you've done for me, and um, it, it was the least I can do uh, to be here for you today, so thanks for having me. Oh, well, thank you. I, You know, I, 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 me and him talk uh, pretty regularly. I do another, uh, for those that don't know, I do another show with podcasters and bloggers where uh, we talk about uh, blogging tips, podcasting tips, and it's a Google Hangout just like this one is. And ghosts. Oh yeah, ghosts. That's right. Yeah. Uh, Not too long ago with the ghosts, and and I was like losing my mind. In fact, I left. For those that don't know, I left my house because Melissa wasn't home, and I was so freaked out about what happened. No. That, yeah, I left. I, I was like, I'm not saying. <laughs> I call, I call my, I call my boy Matt up. And I said, Matt, what are you doing? He's like, oh, he's like, oh, snap. All right, just, just come over. It's, it's cool. Don't worry about it. I slept on the couch. What, what exactly apartment. happened? There was oh, like a in the back, but the thing is, Anthony, you were there, weren't you? Yeah, and I didn't see anything. They didn't see anything. I had to go back and like put a, a video together just for people to see it. Now, now Dave's saying he you didn't see it either. 
We were? Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you were yeah, I had to get out of here. I was not I was not having it. I don't I don't know what it was. I'm not purporting to know what it was. But I had to uh I had to, I had to bounce. <laughs> so your wife is your protector is what you're saying. Yeah, she wasn't she is. here. She, you she were like, you know, like, that, as, this, this is look at this. my wife right here. Well, we we even match. I feel like we got Facebook shirts on. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag how to dream on all your social networks. Yes, and uh, so this for all that don't know, this is my beautiful, awesome, su insanely supportive wife, Melissa. Say hi. Hello, hello out there to everybody. <laughs> you can't even hear yourself. Well, what what do you want to hear yourself for? You just have to talk into the mic. Hello. Yeah. Okay. So anyway, just like that. <laughs> so. Uh, yeah, so I I, I, I can't uh, express how thankful I am for, for this awesome person in my life that uh, supports me through all this craziness and, and all these awesome dreams and uh, these ideas and takes me back constantly to say, Joe, you know, you're only one person. You, you can't do it all uh, right away. Do, just pick one thing. And, and uh, for me, it's really hard to do um, is, is just pick one thing. Obviously, I, I do so many things, but... Uh, trying to, to fit them in a schedule and make them all go. And uh, this is the, the person that makes all that happen. Oh. And she's uh, also the ghost slayer. Yeah, yeah. And protector. The protector of, of but, uh, Apparently he's the only one that actually saw the ghost, but we're just going to take no, Joe's word video. for it. Because it's Joe's video. day. If you check but, out the video. You it's know, there. I just I just want to say that the 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 uh the positive vibes and the the positivity that's that's just in in this room and, and across the the Wi-Fi right now is a real testament to the Dreamers podcast and you know what you do for the world and I I think that you do a great job, brother. Thank you. Definitely. Thank you. I uh, I really appreciate that. And even my wife agrees. I'm sorry, Dave. You want to say something? Well, I just wanted to uh, talk about the uh, wonderful job she did with our movie at this oh, point. She played she played the female role at that. So I'm very looking forward to uh, having that come off come off tonight on video. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes. And we'll be getting to that very shortly, actually, uh, as well as a performance by Rich Quick. That's this me. Guy right here, because he's, he's with the obnoxious awesome. lanyards. <laughs> How did you get started with the lanyards, anyway? So I, I initially had this. This is a, a cassette tape, and it's called a gnarly chain. What, what's a cassette what, tape? It's 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 like an antique CD. Uh, actually, antique well, MP3. What's, what's, well, yeah, what's, what's a, a CD? Oh yeah, my what's god. Oh, uh, and it, I I got this off some kids in in South Jersey in in Sicklerville, New Jersey. They were selling these, and uh, so I bought one. I thought it was really fly. And then uh, I met a guy named Cody Griswold, Cody Grizz, and he has a company called 8-Bit Bling. And I was shooting a video in, in Flatbush for, for my New York people in the building. I don't know if we all go to Flatbush or it's just me. Uh, I, don't, I don't know what that is. <laughs> but uh, but um, he brought me this, this uh, Rich Quick. It's called an 8-Bit Bling, and he brought it for my video shoot. And then... This is my guy. This is my Facebook sticker. I, if, if, you, if you follow me on, on my social networks, you know this is my favorite guy. So uh, he also blessed me with this with this piece. And I and I wear them obnoxiously because I'm a hip-hop artist. And as we were talking about earlier, Joe, hip-hop artists are obnoxious. Yeah, yes, you they know? are. <laughs> it's funny that you mentioned that because uh, just the other – or just last night, actually, when I wasn't able to sleep at night because uh, – I was so not nervous about everything going right today. And haunted by ghosts. And and the oh, I don't even get sorry about the ghosts. We're still <laughs> in the house here, and they're probably still in the house too watching. So uh. hearing me taunting them. <laughs> yeah, don't especially on on a, on a stormy on a, yeah, night. On a stormy Come on night, now. Right. Come on now. <laughs> we uh. So yeah, it's just, they uh they can definitely be obnoxious with their with their bling. But you know what, your bling is uh not so bling. Yeah, it's not so blingy. It's you know I I don't have actually I don't have any any bling at all all of my all of my flashiness is like plastic so <laughs> I think I think I could pull it off. 
So uh, right now, what I would like to do is to 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 get some of this uh, this money raising going. Uh, I'd like to get some people up here to do some minute to win it games, and I will personally donate ten dollars for each game that's able to be completed. Of the so we're gonna get three people. There's three games. That's three times three. I was told there'd be no math, but that's ninety dollars <laughs> total if we can get all nine of these tasks completed. So um, okay, do I think I can? Hey, I know how to dream, baby. Do you know hashtag how to dream on all social networks? Because anything can happen that we put our minds to and that we dream and believe in. So make sure that you hashtag how to dream if hashtag you're dreaming dream. to win these minute to win it games this evening. Yes. So uh, the three games that we have that we're going to be doing here. Uh, one is involving M and M's. Everybody loves M and M's. How about sorting M and M's? Sort no no sorting sorting not sorting like it's just some like hi, like like uh, crazy glue and glue them together and then like break them over each other. I'd, more, well yeah you. Chocolate. We we will not allow wasting of chocolate. Okay we're not gonna. That's true. You can't waste chocolate. Chocolate. No definitely yeah I know well, who who said that Beatrice? Yeah I might need to go get some chocolate. I. <laughs> I, I don't blame you. I need to go get some chocolate myself. <laughs> so uh, she had it. Yeah, she had the. Yeah, she can't hear. It. She had a Darth Darth Vader cupcake earlier. So your your chocolate is uh accounted for, Beatrice. Yeah, it's already done. But you know, I can always go for more. <laughs> I'm just gonna run with, it off with that large anyway. glass of wine. <laughs> right. Oh, yeah, where's the wine at? See, this is to cheers, you know. <laughs> not a lot. Of, not not everybody knows, but I I don't drink. I just drink water and and sometimes soda. But uh, but I I can appreciate it. Oh, okay. Apparently, it's a delay in the living room. So uh, so we need to figure out who's going to do uh, the first. The first task. Uh, Melissa's getting it set up. It looks like uh, we're gonna. All right, we have two people so far. Where's Jessica at? She's com Is Jessica coming? I'll just, do I gotta open the door and say Jessica's coming? Jessica's coming. Now, now, hold on a second. Now, th this is my Melissa's cousin. My cousin through marriage. Door still open. Air conditioning still on. Uh, and and she was part. Uh, she helped out in this video that you're gonna see a little bit later. Uh, the three-minute film that we made uh, and didn't get nominated for, but uh, it's okay. It's okay. It's still a quality film uh, that I've watched way too many times. So, uh, Jessica, thank you for coming out tonight. I really, really appreciate it. Thanks for inviting me. Yeah. You're, you're very welcome. And you're going to compete here with Jason and Jeanette, $10 a piece. Oh, wait. You want, we want to do the M&Ms? We'll save that for last. We'll save that for last. Let's do the, uh, the M&Ms first. Uh, what we do we need right a table? We do need a table. We didn't. Uh, yeah, you want you want to do it on here? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it on the. Uh, let's do it on there. You are gonna eat them? <laughs> All right. Apparently, we like to eat chocolate here. Um, uh, can we can we get them to do it all at one time? Okay. Well, we can get them to do it all at one time. Tell you what. If let me. Oh, that one. That the table's pretty. Problem far solving. Uh, Hashtag how to dream on all social uh, networks, Twitter, Instagram. Uh, tell you what, let's grab Facebook. this. Let's grab this one right here. Rich, why don't you take over for a minute here? The pressure is on, ladies and gentlemen. As Rich was asked to take over the microphone. How you guys doing out there in Wi-Fi land? I'm talking to you guys. You guys. No, nothing. Hey, What's up, Rich hey. Flicks? Hi. Hi. I had to unmute myself. <laughs> All the pressure got uh, put on me um, because I because I'm co-hosting this evening. <laughs> except I do a really poor job at co-hosting. I don't even know wh where, where you know what camera to look at at this point. <laughs> you're doing good. I think you're doing exactly. good. Excellent. As we get the table set up here for these minute to win the games. And Joe is personally donating ten dollars for each person that uh, completes these tasks. Do 
You're and gonna it, have to do a little rap or something. It, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. I don't think I don't think they're ready for that one. <laughs> you can keep it clean. I can I can I I'm pretty clean cut in case you I mean I'm I'm pretty non non threatening especially in my music but uh only only some of the time usually So let's not forget that we are uh raising money for a good cause this evening uh, give kids the world uh, that is uh helping children with with uh ailments and, and diseases, life-threatening diseases, life -threatening diseases uh, enjoy Disney World. And uh, that's what that's what we're here for, for the uh, Dreamers Podcast, one year anniversary. Yay! Feel free, to, feel free to applaud out there in Wi-Fi land. Whoop, whoop. Snaps, snaps. <laughs> You guys started talking about M and M's. I, I went and grabbed some uh, chocolate chip cookies. So I think there's, yeah. a, there's a cookie. There's a, uh, a cookie challenge in a little bit. A minute to win it. I'm 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 all over that. Yeah, uh, look. <laughs> there might be other colors. There might be other colors in there. I don't know anything about the green ones. <laughs> uh, all right, so six. We need six cops. All right, so we're going to do this one at a time. And what we're going to do is we're going to pull the camera down here because we have this awesome. You want to run the camera? All right. We got a cameraman here. Uh, here you go. Yeah, so we're going to need a timer. Can somebody get their phone out and time, time this stuff? Well, they are sort the, oh, was it? Were they supposed to sort the whole thing, the whole bag? Is that the is that the way this goes? I'm just, I've only watched the show like once. You're the expert in the show. All right, folks, oh, this could take did. a while. Oh well, no, it's only supposed to. Take it's only supposed seconds. to take six seconds. Yeah, six only six seconds. Awesome. All right, so uh, so one, who's gonna go first? All right, Janet, you're going first. I promise they'll all end up in the cups. That some might, you know, go elsewhere along the way. In your mouth. You know. That's what she said. Uh, oh, uh, it's, and see, I'm I'm supposed to be the raunchy one this uh, evening. <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't know. Is that? You think you could do that in 60 seconds? How about we just cut in half? Cut in half. Oh yeah. Okay. That's. Don't waste the chocolate now. Wow. I'm not sure that these piles are looking fair at this point. Yeah, I know. Do <laughs> you see these piles? He sees us and she's like, I'm going to cut it in half. And then it's like, oh, oh. What are you like? That's a, this isn't white powder. You don't have to cut it that, like that. I don't know. I don't know. I, again, I'm I'm, I'm supposed to be the the the, the raunchy hip hop right. guy tonight. All right, tell you what, just uh just bring, like, all right, there you go. <laughs> Probably shouldn't have pulled the whole thing out, but it's okay. So. Well, how many people are participating? No, no, just one at a time, one at a time. Then we'll dump, we'll dump them out. No, 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 you don't have to. Do, no, no, it's one at a time. So Jeanette's gonna go first. She has to sort all these in 60 seconds. Do we got that on the camera? Okay, all right, cool. Uh, you might have to just come down a little bit because I don't think if see the the faces. I think that you can't see past the faces. No, uh, like the the stationary ones at the bottom. Okay. All right. All right. So somebody got the clock. You got the clock. All right, Dave's. Dave's got the clock. Yes, Go. Oh, you got this, Jeanette. Go on, Jeanette. Wait, you're mixing them. I oh, am. Yeah. You are. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, no. What are you doing? Oh, wait. Are you colorblind? Is that... Was that... I don't know. Maybe. Wait, you're going to be able to do this? Oh, okay. I, you know, I... Oh, way to hit her in the, in the face, Jason. That's awesome. Good job. Good job. You have to go work. 
Um, you know what? I, I feel like there's like 20, it should be like 20 or 30 M&Ms. Yeah, because I don't remember, because we did it before. We, we, we totally screwed this up. Yeah. Is it, has it been 60 seconds already? 55 seconds? Three? Yes, okay. All right, tell you what. So, hmm. yeah, okay, so that's, that's going to be hard. All right, so here, here's what we're going to do. We're gonna we're gonna cut the, we're gonna pour these back in here and we're gonna cut that in half. That that sound good? Do I get a retry? Yeah, you can re, you can try again. I'll, I'll I'll let somebody else go. Yeah. So you can watch the yes, watch exactly. their, their technique. Watch the okay. I was looking for a technique. I, I, really wasn't. I, I was just started throwing them in cups and then I got confused with what color went in what cup. You know. Yeah, we have to mix them up because all the greens are now together. Well, you know what to say about oh, greens. No, we don't know what they say about the greens. <laughs> I don't know either. Dave. Dave's the one that said it. He doesn't want to tell us. He doesn't want to say. I, I, the raunchy hip-hop guys, I'm familiar with uh, green M&Ms being, uh, being, being something. Promiscuous? Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, right. oh, like the commercials? Oh. oh. Okay. The green ones are aphrodisiac. Really? That's what they always said. And this I whole time, I, I've been... Up, you gave a oh, I remember that from high school. Elementary school, great. Okay, I need to get some Oreos. I'm going to be right back. <laughs> We're going to be playing with Oreos in a little bit, Beatrice. Making us hungry. I don't know if I can wait. Yeah. No, wait, wait. Seriously, you should wait. You should wait because here's what we're going to do. We're going okay. to uh, have the, the cookie on the forehead, and you're going to have to get the, from the forehead to the mouth. Oh, okay. I'll have to try that. Yeah. I'll I, 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 got, I got an extra 10 bucks if you do it. <laughs> I will try it. <laughs> right, oh, this right. is going to be fun. All right, so <laughs> you can do that in six seconds. I think that's I think that's fair, right? I think that's doable. I think it's way more doable. Where's my than phone. That. We shouldn't have poured them all out. And that's oh yeah, a whole bag, or half the <laughs> bag, and then half of a half of bag. Where's my oh, yeah. phone? Okay. Are you ready, Dave? You ready? Ready. Set. It's really hot. Let's go. <laughs> Oh, see, I see a technique. Said every professional sports player ever. <laughs> I see it. That was about the hit she's, you in the she's face. She's got it. She nailed it. She nailed it? How, 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 are, we doing, how are we doing with time? What are we doing with time? How are we doing with time? Good. You got 18 to win. Come on, man, you got 40 seconds. You got this. Come on, you got this. There's only uh, do, do as much as you can. 30 seconds left to go. 30 seconds. You got it. You got this. Yeah, the whole the whole rest. How's sorting looking? Sorting looking good. Sorting's looking good. No, no, you are good. You got it. Boom. How about you do? Forty seconds. Sweet. Eat some. Eat some M and M's. Uh, technique. Right. Technique, ladies and gentlemen. All right. So we technique. Oh yes, the the sexy ones. All right. So we already have. Oh, that's a shame. All right. Hey, we got a donation. Yay! Ooh. Thank you very much, Kathleen. Twenty-five dollars. Very thank you, much thank appreciated. You, thank you. What was the uh, link for that, Joe? Uh, if you go to howtodream.co/year, uh, on the right-hand side of the page, you can go to where uh, it says "Give Kids the World." There's a big logo there. Click on that, and you can donate right from that page. All right. So what we need to do is. Oh, did you did you get a hold of Chris? I wonder if Chris is watching right now. I don't know. I did text her. Actually, that's a good question. Let me check if she uh, responded. Oh, there. <laughs> Spilling. Yeah, mix them up. Mix them up. Mix them up. Mix them up. All right. So so far we're at ten dollars. Now now what I didn't get to tell you guys. Uh, is that Lori agreed to double the donation that I make from this. So thank you very much, Lori. So thank right now Lori. we're at $20. And who's up? You, you, weren't you supposed to? Yeah, I'm good. good. You good? You good with the camera? All right, I'm loving it. All right, give me that, give me that timer. All right. Are you ready? Get set. Go. Come on, Dave. Come on, Dave. You got this, Dave. Oh, you're dropping them. Slow down. Slow down. You got plenty of time. 
Jessica did it with 20 seconds left to go. I think you got this. Four, no, no, it was 40 seconds total. So it's 40 seconds left. <laughs> yeah, you did it in 20 seconds. It was it was very impressive. Yeah, it was amazing. I I had to tweet about it. Lightning speed. With hashtag how to dream. <laughs> or how to sort. Okay, we're at 30 seconds. Come on, 37 seconds. Come on, Dave. I think the I think the paper towel is a problem. I think we need to get rid of this paper towel. I think with 15 seconds left to go, I should help him out here and get them off the paper towel. So wait, what was your what was your technique, Jessica? One color at a time. That's that's the oh, ticket. we're past one minute, Dave. Oh, it's not it's not easy, is it? No, it's not. I'd imagine it'd be easier without the paper towel because you're trying to like pick up. Yeah, like. I could see this. Are you seeing this on the camera here? Like when you pick when you go to pick stuff up, it like bends, it, it gets flimsy with it. So I could see it being a problem. All right, who's going next? Now can I have a retry? Yes. Okay. With, with the same amount that Jessica was able yeah, to do in forty seconds. seconds. Forty seconds. Forty seconds. That was amazing. All right, All right. here we go. Here we go. I'll mix them up already like pre-sorted. All right. That that's all. That's all you got. All right. All right. We got who got a timer? Dave, you got your timer? Yes. All right. Very good, sir. Ready? Set. Go. The technique. <laughs> got some shaky cam going on here. How are we doing with time? Twenty seconds. Twenty-one seconds. All right. You know, she's made. She's making good progress. Thirty seconds remain. Thirty seconds. How's the sorting looking? Sorting's looking good. All right. About twenty seconds left, and boom, she's good. She's in. That's forty-three seconds. Twenty dollars to give kids the world. So thank you very much. Uh, very good, very good job. All right. All right. So, all right. Um, what were your? Jason, did you want to give it a try? No, I'm good. You're good. Okay, he's good. He's good working the camera. All right. So let's move on to the next one then. And for the next one, we're gonna have to move this table out of the way. So get this table out of my face. <laughs> And we're going to go. Beatrice, did you get your Oreo cookie yet? I'm getting them right now. Go get your Oreo cookie, yeah. <laughs> no, they're not sorting. You're just pouring. Pour, pour, pour. I, need I to, think, I need I to think this track. is the minute, uh, minute to win it that I'm, that I'm looking most forward to. Yes, I think it's going to be hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> the camera adds 10 browns. <laughs> <laughs> waka waka. Uh, back that way. Thank you very much. Yeah, don't don't spill the M&Ms. Save the M&Ms. All right, so we're so far we're up to $20. For Give Kids the World, uh, actually it's $40 because Lori agreed to uh, to double uh, my donation for every task completed. So for the next one, we're going to do the Oreo cookie uh, on the face, and we're going to do one at a time here. We're going to do one at a time because I, I want everybody else, everybody to, to see how much of a fool they can make of themselves wow. before they sit down. And, and can we play at home? On their head. Hey, we're going to play at home. Well, if you if you guys want to play along, we Go will play at home. I, I I will donate ten dollars if you can make it happen. It's tough. I, I I know. I've been there. All right. I'm always willing to look foolish, <laughs> especially for a good cause. 
<laughs> yeah, do this for a good cause. This is for a very good cause. <laughs> Ice cream for breakfast is an amazing cause, no matter yeah. the case. Why I need it. Breakfast, dinner, and dessert, and lunch. <laughs> I'm running one of their rides next in, in, in August. So actually, uh, was where would Melissa go? Is she coming back? Okay, she's coming back. Well, while we wait for Melissa to come back, to so she can partake in this uh, this full this tomfoolery, uh, <laughs> real quick. Dave wanted to talk about uh, give kids the world and what he's about to be doing in the not too distant future. All right. So on August eighth, me and a bunch of friends, both in Disneyland and Disney World, are going to be riding It's a Small World all day long to raise money for Give Kids the World. So my goal is my school has already given me eight hundred dollars, so I'm doing a hundred dollars per hour. So I'm already committed to eight hours of riding It's a Small World over and over and over again. Oh my! I get another nine hundred dollars. That's 17 hours of the Kingdom Open, including extra magic hours. I'll re ride it all, all, uh, all day. And if I make an extra thousand, if I make a thousand dollars on top of the 800 I got the morning beforehand, I'll, I'll do a 5K in the morning before the Kingdom opens around the Wilderness Lodge property, listening to nothing but it's a small world. So, wow. If I can get a thousand dollars that way by the next two months, I'm going to be tweeting it out constantly. Otherwise, how many hours I do depends on how much money I make. I'm already, I'm already in it for eight. You might be re reading about me in the newspaper because I'll probably kill somebody at the end. I got a dream. You'll never get that song out of your head ever, ever, ever after no. that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not just doing it oh, I know. Phil, Phil did it with how many hours was Phil uh, doing? He did the the Stitches Great Escape. Oh yeah. Oh, ow. Again, again. Punishment. All right. So, uh, who wants to do it? Who's doing it first? Melissa is volunteering first. Nice tribute for that movie I've never watched. All right. Oh, I should. Somebody should get a clock out. Looking at you, Dave. I didn't know we were timing on this one. Oh, it's 60 it's seconds. A, it's a minute to win it. We can go for, well, you want to do a minute and a half? Let's do a minute and a half, right? Because it's, it's tough. Oh, she gets it's a minute and a half because she's your right. wife, Joe? Yeah, no, everyone will get a minute Okay, and a half. I see. No. Ghost no, protector never. of the universe. <laughs> yeah, she keeps the ghosts away, so. She, she deserves it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Where? Oh. On the, oh, yeah. Well, we're, we're we're live here in our garage at the house. Um, it's a ghost-free environment, as far as I know. <laughs> Seeing anything on the camera? Just just you know, shout out. All right. So, Melissa, are you ready? You will have one minute and thirty seconds. Dave is on the clock. Melissa, put the. <laughs> Yeah, what happens Five if second rule? Tell you what, have the have the cookies ready, Jessica. You want to be the the cookie lady? Okay, you'd be like the cat lady, but with cookies. <laughs> it's, not, it's, not, it's not a bad title. We just offended every cat lady in the world. Uh, all right, Melissa, put the cookie on your forehead. So you just got to get it from her. She got to get it from her forehead. So from right here. Down to her mouth in a minute and thirty seconds by just using her facial muscles. Oh. So take notes, uh, Beatrice and Kathy, uh. because I'm expecting to watch you do this, <laughs> uh, this in the not fun. too distant future. Wow. All right, you ready? Set. Set. Go. go. <laughs> Get them blinking muscles going. <laughs> you know, this is all for charity. Uh, oh, yeah. All right, now we're cooking. If Don't you drop it. In your mouth, that's twenty dollars. Oh. Get the tongue up. Get the tongue up. <laughs> It'll be twenty dollars in the bank for Give Kids wow. the World. Oh, this is great. Oh, 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 oh. oh. it's okay. It's okay. You're at the thirty-second mark. Yep. All right, so you have a minute left. 
All right. <laughs> what is this? The uh, uh, rock and roller coaster? Alternate route? It's a monocle. <laughs> oh, 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 we lost the cookie. Come on, what do we have with time? 50 seconds. 50 seconds. You had to just drop it. 50 seconds. Oh. Get your hat. Get your face over. Get your face over. Get your face over. Get your face over. Mouth open. Mouth open. Oh, oh, come on, come on. Tongue out, tongue out, tongue out. Yeah. Oh, oh, my oh my goodness. I can't go. believe it. <laughs> that was oh, awesome. Hey, so you would have had it. <laughs> if I didn't see it for myself, it would have been like that goat. <laughs> it's hard to see. Monocle. Get it get it in a little closer. It's That was impressive. There you go. <laughs> awesome. That's twenty more dollars in the bank. For Give Kids the World. All right. Let me get my phone over here so I can keep track of all this. Uh, here. Uh, uh, hold on one second. I will. I got it. Just tell me when. All right. Rich Quick, you go with the time, sir. All right. We're going to go right now. Oh, we got to get this cookie up off the ground before it gets smushed. Who wants a free cookie? Oh! Uh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Come on, come on, come on. You can do this, Dave. Where'd that other cookie go? Oh. Very close. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh. Uh oh, uh oh. Promising. Shimmy it. Shimmy it. Uh oh, oh, you can't show them. <laughs> <laughs> Again, this is all for Give Kids the World. Oh, you almost had it. Cookie him. 40 seconds. Oh, oh. Come on, Dave. Come on. Just flip, flip it, flip it. 10 seconds remain. <laughs> oh, oh. Was it, is it that's, that's a minute it. and a half? A minute and a half? We can go a minute and a half. A minute even. and a half. It wasn't just from Melissa. I, I play fair. Oh, Sorry, you gotta get the technique down first. I hope you're paying attention, Beatrice and Kathy. I'm watching. I got Andy, my. Do you have a, any Oreos at home? You seem to have a lot of junk food at home. Come <laughs> on, you, buddy. <laughs> what? I got chocolate chip cookies. Oh wow! It's oh, that's huge. It's, oh. it's way too big. It won't fit all. No, time up. Uh, give the guy a cookie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh. You're volunteer. I know you're gonna you're gonna raise a lot of money for give kids the wall. Someone wants to help with the cookie challenge. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, I guess who who's who's up next? Jessica? Jessica yes. says she's up next. I will cookie you up, I promise. <laughs> All right. Who's got the time? Dave, you got the time? Yep. Just can't use your hands. You got a minute and a half. See, and, I'm, uh, I'm way too cool for this one. Oh, no, you're not. <laughs> no, I'm way too cool. Are you afraid and, of and plus, Are you ready? Is it you gone? The clock on? The clock's on. All right. Yeah, get those muscles working. You look like a pirate oh, right now. <laughs> Come on, Jess, you can do this. Oh, 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 oh! oh. Here's, a cookie, Here's a cookie. Oh, no, oh. Dropping cookies over here. That's how we get ants. <laughs> oh, oh, you're not even trying at this point. Oh, I'm doing horrible. Things. <laughs> Don't run out of all the cookies. I'm gonna have to eat one. <laughs> How much time is that, Dave? We're at 47 seconds. 45, 47 seconds. Okay, so there are like 50 seconds left. Get into your eyes, Doctor. Take it away. That's a good, the good tactic. She's gonna make this happen. At this point, seconds. Come on, 30 seconds. Let's go. Come on, Jess. Come on, Jess. <laughs> Don't don't hit it in the face, Jason. <laughs> All 
Oh, this is an easy flip right here. Oh, it's coming, it's coming. Just keep going, keep going. Keep just blink tongue out, really tongue hard. Out, tongue out, tongue out. Tongue out. Oh! I, I, think, I think that counts. She asked me. <laughs> Never has victory tasted so good. <laughs> How much time is left? One, two, three, you got eight seconds. Go on, you got it down. You already had it. You just got to do it without cheating. I'm ready. <laughs> And uh, we're at 132. Uh, oh, oh, she's so close. Come on, just make it happen. Make it happen. Oh, my God. Yeah, she's she, got, she's got, got it. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. There you go. Wow. Good job. Good job. Come here. Come here. Bring it in. All right. That's another, that's another $10. Sometimes we need a little handicap. Beatrice, are you are you ready to try? I'm ready. i got to take my glasses off for this one. For a fact, right? Yes. <laughs> well, I think it would be a lot harder with glasses on. That's for sure. It would be. All right. And you guys... I can't see this as good, I guess, because... Well, right. I mean, you don't have a professional cameraman like Jason here, but <laughs> no. make this happen. Okay, Dave, you got the timer? Yes. Beatrice, uh, yeah, you ready? I brought extras. You're already, you're already dropping it. I know. <laughs> All right, ready, set, go. Ah. <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> this is a dangerous job. 16 seconds. S 16 seconds in. Come on, Beatrice, you got this. I think I'm getting Oreo dust in my face. Well, <laughs> you get a lot worse in your face. <laughs> oh. Ah. oh! She froze. Oh, no, well, she hasn't gotten it yet. Oh. It was close on that last one. I should say when it froze, it went in. Yeah. <laughs> 45 oh. seconds. Uh. Oh. oh, come on, come on. You're almost at a minute. You have 30 seconds to go. Uh. Just go slow, just go slow. Use your, use your blinking muscles. Oh, I'm trying to blink. I got Oreos flying uh, you, got, you got 20 seconds. Just go slow. Go slow. Ten, Come on, B. You can do it. Oh, if your mouth was open, you would have caught that. Oh, four, three, two. Well, keep going. Keep going. Just keep going. You got this. This is like the first you got. It froze. She's like a oh, fan. She said she got it. It was in yeah. it. Was awesome. We have $10 in the bank oh. for Give Kids to Call. <laughs> Amazing. Absolutely that was fun. amazing. I can say I've never done that before, so there I you go. Have. Hashtag how to do it. <laughs> All right, let's see. We got we got Jeanette up in here. Oh, yay. Okay. You're gonna do this? I'm ready. All right. You're gonna hit her in the face. Okay, good job. Keep up the keep up the hitting in the face. Oh, oh I gotta take off Beatrice. All right, we're back, back on our camera. Jeanette is about to play for ten, actually twenty dollars for Give Kids the World, and uh, you're gonna have a minute and a half to get this cookie in, got a and a half. in your mouth. Yeah, you, you do got a minute. Got a minute it's a per, it's perfect for. Yes, minute and thirty to win it. Awesome. All right. <laughs> you don't need to hit her in the face, Jason. They, when they do bad stuff. Yeah, no, Jeanette, Jeanette's all for hitting people in the face. Wait, has somebody got the cookies? I got the cookies. Oh, I'm messing up my job. I'm doing double duty here. Come on. She's got this. Look at this. Look at this technique. Wow. She's got it. Just keep going. Just keep wiggling. Wiggle a little more. Oh, thank you. It's uh, not finished at all. It's 38 seconds. Keep going, nice and slow.
Oh, look at this. She's so close. She's wow. so close. Get that song out. <laughs> <laughs> easy, 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 easy. Don't laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Jet. Come on, Jet. She's got this. She's got this. Just keep going. Just keep working on it. Keep working it. Uh, she's, she's got it. Come on. How much time we got left? We could have one more go at it. Oh, Jeanette. It's all right. You were really close. I mean, really, it was like it was between your tongue and the top of your mouth, and uh, it was it was close. Oh, watch your uh, are you wrapped there? All right. So uh, I, I'm gonna give this a try. <laughs> Raise twenty more dollars. I don't know. You're sweating a little bit. I know. It, it might, gonna, it's gonna get stuck. This is gonna get stuck to your face. <laughs> I'm gonna hand off the mic to Melissa, which is something that hasn't really happened in the show the history of the show, ever. So uh, here we go. Yeah, I get to yell at you. <laughs> Hashtag how to dream on all social networks. And Let's go, Joe. Set, go. Go, Joe. Oh, oh. Those forehead muscles oh. are impressive. You go and keep going. <laughs> you must work out. You know it right across his face. <laughs> wow. Oh. Uh, that was In 11 seconds. Wow. This is going to be a world record. Hashtag have a dream on all social networks, and you could die too. Now, what I would like to do, Joe, since you did it in 11 seconds, the new record. M minute to win it record. Minute to win it record. I, I would just, uh, I, I, yeah, I would like a cookie. <laughs> that one hasn't been on Joe's face. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. But because you have the new world local record, garage record, garage record, I will pledge seventy-five dollars oh, wow. to your charity. Wow. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. We are. We have lost reception, ladies lost and gentlemen. Reception. And uh, when he gets the camera back, <laughs> and, and I'll tell you exactly. Uh, uh, reconnecting. Reconnecting. Check one two. Yeah, they can hear us. Right, yeah, so, audio's coming through fine. The Back reason online. why I'm doing so much is is everyone knows that Joe's here tonight to raise money for Give Kids the World, but what not a lot of people know is Joe supports other charities as well. Uh, if you can see my T-shirt uh, for the Redbird Mission here, it's in southeastern Kentucky. I go down to Kentucky with the church every summer, and Joe and Melissa have been great supporters of us, buying chicken dinners, hoagies, and the such uh, to support our trip and the community down there that um, it, it comes to about the same as what I'm going to donate to Give Kids the World. Oh. And you support me, I support you, and you b broke the record, and here we go. I pledge $75 to Give Kids the World. That's wonderful. I appreciate it. I will try the cookie. Oh, okay. You don't want that all over my forehead first? <laughs> <laughs> all right. How come nobody's untwisting? Everyone's using them the wrong way. You're supposed to. Uh, yep. <laughs> now, Kathy, are you, are you ready to do it? Uh, I'm going to try. All My right. son is here, though. He may get upset. <laughs> well, I will try. Wasting a cookie? We won't screenshot you or anything. Ne never. And tag you on our social networks <laughs> with the hashtag how to dream. Oh. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna watch the camera on Kathy right now. So it's all you, Kathy. You have a minute and a half, or or you know, 11 seconds, whatever comes first, to uh to make it happen. All right. 11 seconds. I like it. Yeah. Tell me when. 
right. Who's got the Dave? You got the uh, the timer. You don't have to hold the hold the camera up because the, the camera. Um, she has the camera set on her. Say when. Right. <laughs> <laughs> when are we starting? Started. Are we still Ready? Go. Oh, then she gave me twenty-five bucks. Oh. Here we go. Yay! Come on, Kathy. You can do this. It's for charity. It's for a great cause. A motion picture. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh, this is great. Oh, you are so close. Ah! Oh, it's okay. It's okay. You got like a minute left. You're you're solid right now. All right. Come on, Kathy. You got this. <laughs> Uh, sorry, but now it's time for you. To... You're almost there. Oh yeah, come on, come on. Keep it, to, keep it to the nose. Keep it to the nose. Get it. Oh, you're so <laughs> oh, no! oh! How much time we got left? You look about a minute. You got about a minute. Okay. Mm -hmm. Twenty seconds. All right, we're down to. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I meant to say thirty seconds. Sorry. Fifteen seconds. You got. Oh, oh, oh. Here we gotta go, make it. A, we gotta make a flip. Come on, make it happen. Blink really, really hard. <laughs> Try to get around. Three, two, one. Ah. Come on, get in, get in, get in. Oh. <laughs> try, good try. <laughs> All right. Oh well. I'm still a winner. Yes, you are. Yay. You got your Oreo. That's what matters. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so we have one awesome. more game. For my, one, I, for my missed one, I'll personally donate the 20 that was missed from, from my missed one. Oh, okay. You're the man. You're the man, Dave. Yeah, nice, man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, you want to give it a shot now? <laughs> Tell you why I'm going to do it, Joe. It's because my mom and my fiance are watching, and 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 my mom has pledged twenty dollars if I complete the cookie challenge. Oh, she texted you? Yes, she has. Uh, so be, hey, mom, how you I, doing? I have to do it for the cookie challenge for the twenty dollars. Awesome. Thanks, mom. Awesome. All right, so we need a we need a timer. Try not to hit him in the face, Jeanette. Though I know it's going to be hard not to want to. All right, we got ourselves a cookie. Just don't break my camera, please. Me? You got you got yourself a cookie. <clears throat> and here we go. And we got ourselves a timer. And ready, and ready set, go. He's in the zone. Yeah, he's got this. Yeah, you can just see the focus in his he's got forehead this. Come muscles. On. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Yeah. Go. Oh, oh, yep, oh you monocle. got this. You got this. Come on. Oh, 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 so close. <laughs> you want a floor cookie. You were, you were like me the other day when I wanted a shop car, uh, shopping cart pretzel for in, in South Philly. <laughs> and Paul's like, all right, well, here's your shopping cart pretzel. Yep. Oh, he's got $20, it. $20, ladies and gentlemen. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. I'm going to go add another $10 to my list. <laughs> There's a little delay, so she might be just seeing it right this second. <laughs> awesome. All right. So as of right now, my running total is $70. Lori agreed to match that, so we're at $70. And we have one more challenge to go, but it's a really hard challenge. And I, I know it's a hard challenge because I've done it before, and uh, it's not it's not for the weak of heart. Hashtag how to dream on all social networks. Yeah, you need, you need that. You're going to need to know how to what's, dream. What's the challenge? So the challenge is we have brand new golf balls. And you have to stack all three of those golf balls together. Yeah, oh my is right. 
Oh, and I don't even know if if this garage has a level floor. Um, <laughs> I think I think our best bet is the. Uh, I don't. No, it's definitely not level. I know it's not level, but I think actually what we'll probably do is we're gonna do it over there on that table because I think it's most level down that right down that way. Over here, there's like all kinds of bumps. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna get this this camera. I uh, bring the camera back over this way because. Uh, you're, yeah, you're twisted. You gotta throw it under those wires. Uh, yeah, you can disconnect it real quick. And we're off the air at the moment. We'll be back in a second. We're about to stack some golf. No, they're right here. They're brand new golf balls, never been touched by human hands. Until today. Until today. Mm -hmm. Special, special little story. Uh, those those golf balls actually came from my my grandparents' house. After uh, they both passed away, and they actually have ins uh, they're inscribed uh, with the I think it's like Echo logo. Uh, take the take one of the balls out. One of the uh, companies that we we used to deal with used to do all kinds of promotional items, and uh, <coughs> Echo, who uh, a very good good friend of mine from the business. Uh, uh, Ron Bombach repped for them, and uh, if Ron happens to be ever watching this, hi Ron, thanks for the balls. So these balls were probably given. <laughs> these balls were given uh, a lot earlier, a lot sooner than you were probably around. So either way, thanks Echo. Uh, we're about to to try to balance the three of these balls. Uh, we can do a minute and a half because this, this is really tough. I think I'm I'm willing to accept this you, challenge. You're willing to accept yeah. this challenge? Uh, uh, I don't know. <laughs> so I'll give you chocolate if that's the case. We got M and M's lying around. Right. Two, minutes. two minutes? Oh man, am I two minutes? It's, okay, we we can do two minutes. Rich, you really you really willing to do this? Absolutely. All right, let's uh let's make it happen. I gotta pass the mic. Let's hashtag how to dream with this. On all social networks, not just Facebook, not just Twitter, not just Instagram, not just I, I, I'll don it, I'll don, I'll rock it. Oh, it's Periscope too. Hashtag, hashtag uh, how to dream on Periscope and Meerkat if you're you're into that kind of thing. Um, so you're gonna get two minutes to raise not ten but twenty dollars. Forgive kids the world. All you have to do is balance balls on top of each other, and it is incredibly hard. Let's go, Rich. The, the first one's easy. The first one's the the easiest of all of them. You, it's the second, or I'm sorry, the, the the third one's what I meant to say. The third one is the hardest. Yeah, please take it. Hit him in the face while you're at it. So after, if once you get it up, it has to stay up for three seconds. Yeah, well, they, yeah, you don't want them to sag. How we how we doing on time, Dave? Thirty-seven seconds. Was it, <laughs> how many margaritas did you have, Rich? <laughs> Several. All right, so we're doing it with several. Maybe you should shake the table, and maybe it'll make it easier for them. Oh, how are we doing with time? How are we doing with time? 57 seconds. And one minute remaining. And he, look, he looks like he's so close. So close. This is a really difficult one. I don't think I could make it happen. Uh, I mean, I dream big, but you got to dream really big to get this one. So for anybody that's just joining us, uh, if you go to howtodream.co slash year, you can click on the Give Kids the World logo on the right side of the uh, screen, or if you're on mobile, just scroll down a little bit more, and you can uh, click that logo and go and donate some money to Give Kids the World. That's why we're here tonight, uh, outside of the fact that it's the one-year anniversary of Dreamers Podcast, but you probably already know that part. And look at that ball rolling. Look at that ball. Just watch where it stops. <laughs> and then start building from there. 
You're at two minutes. Hold on. Let me, let's see if he can get it. If he can get it here. No. Good good try. Good try. That's tough. It's tough. <laughs> look, look at me. I got this right. Oh, it's very possible. They do it on the show in, in under a minute. Well under a minute. This is a first. And it will be a first. Now I'm going to don back the uh, uh, obnoxious necklaces. <laughs> You wear it well, sir, better than I could. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you want to give it a try? You want you want to move the chair? Yeah. All right. I've never been so embarrassed in my whole life. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, so does anybody? Uh, but while they're, while she's getting ready, is anybody at home here? Uh, does anybody else have three golf balls? I hope they'd like to play along. I don't have golf balls. I'm sorry. Oh, everyone has Oreos, though, right? Oreos, <laughs> Oreos was the popular thing this evening. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no golf balls here. Uh, let's see if we can stack three Oreos. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, three Oreos on their sides. Inside your mouth. <laughs> All right. All right. You're ready. You got two minutes. Go. How we doing, Lori? Just take your time. Go slow. Feel out. Feel the balls out. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're getting a little out of hand here. Uh, I know. Well, it's easy when they're served up, piping hot. <laughs> I'm not usually this bad. I don't know what the heck's going on. Uh, I'm sorry, what? You're usually the boy scout of the group. I'm the one that's always the one that just is always uh, so outspoken. <laughs> whoa, whoa, come on, Lori. You're al you, you almost had it there. You just got to rotate it around, find where the, the dimples uh, line up, and, and, and use the force. Just, just use the force. <laughs> Not too much. No, it basically writes itself. Ah, oh, come on. This is a tough one. You got about you got about thirty seconds left. You got this, Lori. Come on, breathe. <laughs> For anybody that didn't hear, the balls are turning blue. Yeah. Green ones. All the green M&Ms. Come on, Lori. Get the second Just get the second one on there, and then we can go from there. That it? Oh, two minutes are up. So it's it's tough. It's tough. This is not not easy. I know if uh, Melissa wanted to come in and try it, I know she's very good at it. Come on, Dave. Play with them balls. Obviously, the, the, it's not like you know. It's not like the balls just keep ro rolling. They're firm. Are they firm? Oh, wow. You would know, buddy. The balls are firm. All right. You ready? Set. Go. Come on, Dave. Two minutes, and you're gonna raise twenty dollars for Give Kids the World. How awesome is that? The is on. But don't answer me right now because I know you're 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 in the zone. Remember, you just gotta get up for three seconds. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Melissa's in the building. Three seconds. Get it Come up on. for three seconds. 30 seconds. Come on. You can find it. All right. Come on, Dave. 
Deep breath. You got about a minute left. I mean, this is not an easy task. I I was not. Exp I'll be surprised if we get one. I mean, all this playing with the balls. I mean, they're they're going to be really blue by the end of this. Oh my. Oh, somebody's mother's watching. Oh, my bad. <laughs> Namely, Jason's mother. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Thank right. you for that uh, generous donation. Melissa's mom and grandparents are all watching. Uh, in the next room. In the next room. It makes it a lot easier to say all this stuff, i got to say. <laughs> Otherwise, I wouldn't be. Come on, Dave. you got you got about 20 seconds left. I know it's darn near impossible. <laughs> We just gotta make it happen. We're not enough margaritas. <laughs> oh, he he had it really close. That I mean, it wasn't three seconds. I think we're done. I think we're done here. We're at two minutes and ten seconds. You were so. So close. Definitely the best. Melissa, would you like to give it a try? Yes. All right. Take a seat over there. Uh, and we're going to we're gonna see if we can get 20 more dollars donated to give kids the world so that some kid will get to eat ice cream for breakfast just for that $20. How awesome is that? Ice cream for breakfast. I mean, they even say it on their website, so I'm not just making this stuff up. I was in the ice cream. I, I volunteered in the ice cream palace a couple of times. That was one of the best experiences. That and work. That and working, uh, driving the train around and right and wow. and right, doing the merry-go-round. <laughs> awesome. Nice. Oh. <laughs> All right, you ready? Let's go, Melissa. You got two minutes on the clock. There's a kid wanting ice cream right now, and it's not me. <laughs> more well deserving of that ice cream than I am for dealing with what they gotta deal with. So she's she's a pro at this. Look at this. Yeah, well that, that's the more time than I've ever seen anybody do it. This is intense. I know, I know. I feel bad talking during it. <laughs> I feel bad making terribly crude jokes. <laughs> they do. They write themselves. Come on, Melissa. Oh, 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 she is like she is like so in the zone right now. Yeah, you, you got a minute. Oh my! Oh my! Oh. <laughs> wow! Wow! That, that I'm is impressed. awesome. I told you she could do it. I can. She's a ringer. I'm gonna. I'll. I'll give it a shot. Right, but I'll can you believe this? <laughs> and they're still standing today. It's like the lean tower pizza. <laughs> I'm impressed. <laughs> well, I didn't hear what I what I missed. Another fifty dollars for Give Kids the World. <laughs> wow. Awesome. 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 And there they stand. We we are we are doing awesome. Look, they're still sitting there. The extra fifty dollars uh, you're right. You're right, you're right. So Lori just offered to donate fifty extra dollars. So thank you, Lori. For donating an extra fifty dollars to give kids. For the stack of golf balls, echo golf balls. I mean, they're, they're, they still they're, stand. Yeah, they're still there. Look, it's there. Yeah, I, I, I'm hoping that she didn't cheat. <laughs> <laughs> they're glued together. Oh, she might be using deflated balls. I mean, Tom <laughs> did, and it's you know. It, oh no. Uh, <laughs> whatever you got to do to win, man. She what? She tamed those balls very well. Really bad job. Oh my. All right, I'm going to give this a try. There you go, Dave. All right. 
I feel bad knocking it up. Yeah, I, I feel bad too. My my heart just sank a little bit. <laughs> you just busted Melissa's balls. <laughs> <laughs> Ready? Yes, we are. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Okay, looks like he's starting off with... If there's any, any friendly ghosts in the room, <laughs> you yes. could lend your assistance. Time for our <laughs> grim, grim ghosts to come out and socialize. Joe? You want to stack your orbs on top of each other. Don't close your eyes. Don't try to hide. Or a silly spook just might sit by your side. <laughs> Shrouded somebody, somebody in a daft disguise. Because right they begin they to terrorize. Right. <laughs> After all, grim grinning ghosts do come I'm out to socialize. <laughs> oh. Watch out for Constance. I do. I did. In sickness and in wealth. Mm -hmm. We are at 110, by the way. Joe, I am extremely disappointed right now. I am too. <laughs> <laughs> Joseph, beware of hitchhiking ghosts. <laughs> Takes this guy 11 seconds to get an Oreo in his mouth from his forehead. Stacks some balls up, on top of each other. Hurry up. <laughs> Come on, Joe. You can do it. Certificate. 40 more seconds. 20 more seconds. Hey, I got two. Eight more seconds. <laughs> Time's up. up. Well. Uh, good try. Good try. Hashtag how to turn him on all social networks, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Dreamers Podcast one year anniversary show. Anybody else want to give this a shot? Yeah. All right, all right, you're going to try something a little different. Uh, tell you what, why don't we pull this table over a little bit so you can get closer to the camera. I'm, I'm in the way now. I'm all wrapped up in these wires. Uh, you know, I got, I got to say, though, I'm impressed that uh, we've been able to go this long without any technical problems. Yeah, I was the thunderstorms and ghosts. Oh, don't say it. <laughs> I know, don't I know. jinx it. Uh, oh, well, somebody needs to get better at the uh, cameraman position. All right, so we're, she's going to try it on the floor to try something a little bit different. Again, if you're, if you're just... No, you didn't. Yeah. <laughs> If uh, if you're just joining us, we're we're playing minute to win it games to raise money for Give Kids the World. For each task, I am personally donating ten dollars. Lori has graciously uh, wanted to to double that, uh, and and throughout the whole the whole event, uh, people have have added all kinds of money. It's just crazy um, <laughs> the amount of money that we've we've been able to raise so far. So I'm very thankful for the uh, for it. So she has two already on the floor. I, it took me it took me like a right. minute and like 20 seconds to get two. She's already got two. Come on, Jeanette, you got this. You got this. Just keep feeling around. I'm quite certain that we're there. Just be gentle. Uh oh. And you gotta find the hole. All right. So you can you can bring them out. <laughs> no 
nobody move a muscle. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Gary Sinise can't move a muscle. That was a Botox joke. Come on, Jeanette. Come on. What, what are we down to, Dave? 20 seconds remaining. It's tough. It's really tough. It's tough to be a bug. It's also <laughs> to that right now. <laughs> we, we just love Disney jokes here. Well, all, all three just, what are we doing with time? Ten. Time's up. Uh, it's tough. It's really it tough. A worthy effort. I know it's tough. For each ball you didn't stack? <laughs> oh, for each. That too? Okay, so 20 bucks. Jeanette has agreed to agree to donate 20 bucks for the two balls that she was able to stack. And it's okay you couldn't do all three, but it's tough. It's really, really tough. Did anybody else want to give it a shot? Jason's going to give it a shot. He doesn't want to disappoint his mom at home. And it's cool. But just remember, man, it's tough. It's really, really tough. You don't want to chair? Okay, he's going to... He's going to wing it, and on we got mark. the clock. On your mark. Get set. Go. All right. Come on. <laughs> oh, yay. He's already got two, man. He's, he's locked in the zone. He's got this. It's looking oh. good. It's looking good. Minute 45. Come on, Jason. No pressure. No pressure. Oh, see, look, yeah, and you're telling me that there's moms watching this show. Hey, they didn't hear that. Uh, I don't know. Did anybody else hear that? Probably not. These mics are, are pretty good at that. Keeping, keeping it localized. <laughs> keeping it clean. Oh, come on, Jason. <laughs> you got a minute left, buddy. Find the hole. You can find it. Melissa found it. <coughs> Die. Forty seconds left. She che oh, I don't think she cheated. I don't think she used deflated golf balls. I don't think that's a thing. <laughs> got 45 seconds. They were unused. They were open. No, you got two. Come on, Jason. Ten seconds. Just got to find it. Only got to be right for three seconds. It's tough, I know. This is really hard. That's why I got two minutes to do it, because it's darn near impossible. Don't cry, buddy. Don't cry. <laughs> It's 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 tough. I know. Another failed attempt. Oh man! Any anybody else? Anybody else didn't? I think everybody did it. Melissa's is the only one that succeeded. So because of all these games that we, uh, <clears throat> I I don't even know what the total is off the top of my head, but I know what my five. personally it's eighty dollars to give kids the world. So we 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 did two hundred and ten dollars. Two hundred two hundred and ten. Two hundred and ten dollars. You, oh, you, you add it all up? Yeah. You're a math major too? No. <laughs> no. Oh, okay. No, I just went went to high school. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh. I'm sorry. It was it was bad. I know. I, I didn't. I'm, and, and and my answer is probably wrong anyway. So. I don't know. I, I know I know I got eighty dollars. Uh, Lori's doubling that. That's, so that's one hundred and sixty dollars. One hundred and sixty dollars right plus there. Plus an additional. Plus fifty. It's two hundred and ten dollars. Plus oh. twenty. Plus twenty. Plus seventy five. Yeah, you're right. I did 35. I don't know if you've seen it online yet. You did 35? Yeah. Oh, man, there's a ton of math involved here. <laughs> <laughs> you know, a lot of kids. Things. That's a lot of ice cream. That's a lot, a lot of ice cream. I, I, I'm so happy. Thank you all for, so much for that. Uh, right now, we have a couple more things that we want to get on the night with. I know it's uh, 
What's uh, it's already 9:48, but we're we're probably going over time here because we got we got other things. I got some really special announcements for the end. Uh, some some really awesome things I want to talk about the future of the show and and all that. So I, I want you all to be a part of that. Uh, I have a performance with Rich Quick. We have a video, a movie, a three-minute movie that we made here in this house with Dave Ka uh, Kosh, who who written, he wrote it, he directed it. I just helped filmed it and and edited it and and was in it and Melissa was in it. I didn't star in nothing. I all I did was fall asleep in it. That's it. That's all I did. We're looking forward to it. It's gonna be. It, it's already been an extraordinary night. It has been and, an extraordinary, and night. we've been hashtagging how to dream, how to dream on all our social networks. I know I have. Uh, yeah, we can we can do that. First, we're gonna let uh, Rich Quick get on with the performance real quick here. To, no, no pun intended. I'm gonna uh, break Hi. out my my DJ equipment. Let me just. Uh, Throw this mic up here. Because as I met you, your name was what? DJ Rom. DJ Rom on the ones and twos. Yeah, man. I haven't gone anywhere. But you've hashtagged how to dream all around the world on all of your social networks. Every time. And so there we go. So we're making a difference tonight. What hashtag again? Hashtag how to dream. On all social networks, that's Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Vine, LinkedIn, baby, Tumblr, LinkedIn. If MySpace. you're MySpace, old enough to understand what LinkedIn is, MySpace, MySpace. It does still exist. I don't, I don't quite know why. They, they trying, they trying. It's only for artists now. If you log on myspace.com slash richquick, I'm quite confident that you will get all new music and updated content because I stay on top of things, Joe. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, that makes one of us then. <laughs> oh, right. oh, you don't still log on your MySpace? No? Uh, no, I'm not. <laughs> I do not. What what is this? What is this? Well, we got more money in in the house here. So uh, Melissa's mom is so nice. Donated twenty five dollars. I have twenty dollars here, and a check for twenty five from from Melissa's aunt and uncle. Oh, it's from her her grandparents. So thank you very much for Excellent. donating more money. Very awesome. All of us are doing an amazing job showing the world how to dream. And uh, now I'd like to uh, let Rich quick get his thing going here. Is this still rain outside? Maybe we get yeah. the door open. Can we, we want to open that door? Yeah. Get, get a little cooler in here? It's a little hot in here, isn't it? It's getting hot in here. Uh, it's not getting that hot in here, Jeanette. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That margarita, that's getting hit pretty heavy. Look, can, can we bring the camera over to the margaritas? Oh, oh, don't walk too far. Don't walk too far. It's it's only a little more popular than the iced tea, I think. <laughs> all right, all right. Rich, are you ready to hit it? I'm I'm ready to hit it. All right, take your drink. Actually, Jason, can you pass me a bottle of water? Cause I I need I need I need something. I need to hydrate up in here. Our camera woman needs uh needs water as well. She's gonna have to open it. Thank you very much. Oh, you want to get one too? Well, no. I was just just helping out the camera woman. Oh, yeah, that was. No, he was opening it for you. Opening yours. He is so nice. You see, you got a gentleman in the house. Video camera. Gentleman. The stills. The stills. Yes. And we thank you for those stills. I can't wait to see those pictures and how they came out. All right, Rich. You ready? Am I gonna be able to see myself? Uh. Yes, you can see right. yourself. Because I'm, I'm a little bit uh, egotistical. E just a little bit. All right, here we go. Ready? This should work. Let's 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 hope. One two, one two, one two. 
I'm dreaming here. Why is this? Is this working? Chuck trees. This tree. I'm not. I barely hear. Why is it barely yeah. coming through? Turn the volume up. Oh, volume, volume's definitely up. Unless. Hold on a second. Ladies and gentlemen, I go by the name of Rich Quick. You can log on my website www.richmfnquick.com and you can check out all of my my latest Stress music. And, and are we doing this? We're doing this. Stress. I guess they say I got away with women. I'm blessed. I got a thousand of them. They all hate me different. See, I ain't even tripping because I love them knowing I just don't have the time to really let them know. So I write them sad songs filled with cliches. You know when stress be laced when Chuck Trees plays. Plus I'm pretty popular these days, and so it seems no one noticed me outside the local scene. Y'all women is gassed up, I swear, and that's what I was afraid was gonna happen. Now I'm here, and I can sit and entertain it like I care, but I'm about to hit the road, but I'll be back and you'll be there. I'm a traveling man, lady, and maybe you'll one day understand I can't hear the plans. That's why I told you I'm a traveling man, baby, because I'm a travel the world, I'm a travel the world. I know it seems like I'm the right girl, and I'm just looking for the right girl, psych. You believe what you want to believe, but yo, things ain't always what they seem. I'm a traveling man, oh girl, I'm a traveling man, I'm a traveling man, and I'm a travel the world. So I sit in conversation with a couple... Drunk on the drums and my phone keep buzzing and I'm a... But I just can't seem to get in my zone and lace these records. I ain't saying I'm a player, pimp. Because to say it ain't the business I'm in. I'm only saying this. I play the game so I can make a name and make me rich. And maybe leave with my sanity for it take me with. Rich is really just a lonely man. Lonely really solely focused on a way to make a flip. I turn a room of cuties into groupies in the city where they never knew me. Who he? Just like a true G. I told you I'm a traveling man, lady. Lately all my plans turn to maybe so they hate me. That's why I told you I'm a traveling man, baby, cause I'm a travel the world, I'm a travel the world, I know it seems like I'm the right girl, and I'm just looking for the right girl, it's like, you believe what you wanna believe, but yo, things ain't always what they seem, I'm a traveling man, oh girl, I'm a traveling man, I'm a traveling man, and I'm a travel the world, so it goes, Yes, yes, y'all, you don't stop. It's me and stress, y'all, chucking, you don't stop. Rocking with the best, y'all, travel the world and press, y'all. Going home to the wood, picking right up where I left off. They must think I'm crazy, but in fact, maybe they be the ones that need that straight jacket strap. Chick, who did you think that you was dealing with in the first place? Girls nowadays act thirsty in the worst ways. First things in my face and loving it. Trust me, they don't love me. They gon' hate me when we done with this. So pour yourself a drink because I'm leaving we a hit, but I don't know if I'll be back in the just pip. So I gave her a kiss on the cheek and leave a tip. Hope for your dreams. Hopefully one day we gon' meet a drift. Maybe, but I'm a traveling man, lady. And I'm a travel the world. I'm a travel the world. I know it seems like I missed the right girl. And I'm just looking for the right girl. Psych. You believe what you wanna believe. But yo, things ain't always what they seem. I'm a traveling man. Oh girl, I'm a traveling man. I'm a traveling man. And I'm a travel the world. Oh girl, I'm a, I'm a, I know it seems like I missed the right girl, and I'm just looking for the right girl. Psych, you believe what you wanna believe, but yo, things ain't always what they seem. I'm a traveling man. Oh girl, I'm a traveling man. I'm a traveling man, and I'm a travel the world. Oh girl, I'm a travel the world. Hashtag, how to dream on all social networks. Believe the dream, live the dream, we can achieve the dream. Believe that. <laughs> thank you. Great job, Rich. Thank I, you, I thank really, you. Really, really appreciate it. I, I appreciate you being here, man. The, the, the positive energy and the love that's in the building tonight, tonight and, and across in the garage tonight and across the, the interwebs is Over really inspiring, man. Thank you. Thank you, man. The man, you know, I, it's uh, it, it, not to bring it down. I know it, it was just an awesome uh, performance here, but you know, the the person that brought us together, uh, we need we need a little moment of silence for because uh, he passed away about about a year ago. Yes, it was a little over a year ago, and uh, he was a mentor to both of us. Uh, yes. Guy Jones. Guy Jones. And uh, <laughs> he uh, was the 
he was the, the, the guy who ran the teen center over in Deford, New Jersey, where both of us uh, crossed paths, did. where we met. Yeah, man, yeah. Ten, ten years ago. Ten years. Ten, a lot's changed in ten years. A lot changed in ten years, but we're still here. We're still rocking out, and, and that is, uh, you know, thanks to, to Guy Jones, and he's no longer with us, so. He, yeah, you know, he, he was such a great guy. Um, you know, he, he really believed in both of us and, and so many of the other kids that were uh, at, you know, in the teen center. Uh, I can't say enough enough nice about him. It's, it's really a shame that he was cut down so early in his life just after. Uh, he, I think he had just gotten his master's degree, too. It's just yeah. a shame. Um, so I just, uh, I'd like to take a, a moment for him. Now I, you know, to uh, to, to honor uh, such an awesome, awesome person, uh, and I, I really couldn't think of anybody else that I'd want to do this for. <laughs> but you know what? I, I think that you uh, you should do something a little, little old school. I'm I'm with it. You're with you it. You got some old school on deck. Uh, yeah, I think I can. I think I can pull something up here. Let me just. Uh, Let's see if this works out the way it's supposed to. I've been lucky so far. How's that? Oh, I, I know this one. Do you know this one? I, I I believe I do. Come on, man. Hashtag <laughs> Hobby Dream. Yeah, man. Oh, man. Oh, you let. Oh, 1979. Do you know the verses, though? Ah. Maybe. Maybe. It's real easy. I can give it I give it a try. You remember that? Give it a try. Go ahead. I just saying, I just a little bit of hip hop, hip hop, a hip it a hip it a hip hip hop. You don't stop rocking to the bang bang. Boogie to the up chump, the boogie to the rhythm to the boogie to the Now what you hear is not a test, it's rich quick, go pardo. Oh, oh. <laughs> hey, hey, I like to say hello to the purple, brown, and the yellow. I don't know, but I stay kind of mellow when I'm in the spot with my man Joe Pardo. Hashtag how to dream on the networks. You don't know how to set work. Yo, yo, let me kick it off the top and my flow so go unorthodox. And I can, I can, I can sit in back and you know that I, I can spit this attack on this rap. I'm in this sight and you know that we chilling tonight and we hashtag how to dream. Cause that's how we can scheme more in this life And you know what this like in this kid right But he can still flow for show And I can still rock with Joe And get a guest spot on the show Dreamers Podcast, yo It's Dreamers Podcast, yo It's Dreamers Podcast, yo It's Dreamers Podcast, yo Yo, 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 yo <laughs> You the man Well how about that? How about that? Tried to throw me for a little loop there. A little and, bit. And mess up the verse, but then I picked it right up. <laughs> See, I'm on to you. <laughs> <laughs> it's awesome, man. Awesome. My brother, thank, thank you. you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. Well, it's been so much fun. Now, we have a video that... Uh, this will be the first time most of you will be seeing this. Some of you might have already seen it. Very few of you have already seen it. But I want to invite Dave over here. So get over here, Dave, because we have to talk a little bit, uh, give people the lowdown on why this film was made, how it got made, and how awesome it turned out, even if we didn't get nominated. That's okay, though. No hate. No hate. Dave, take it away. All right, so a local bar that I hang out in has a film uh, festival every year, and basically it started out where they would pass around a hat, you'd pick out a uh, title and a genre, and from that you were uh, assigned a three-minute uh, film. You had three weeks to make it with that title and that genre, and you had brought it back to the bar by midnight on the day it was due, and they showed them, th they showed them in the bar for... Uh, about a month, and then they had a red carpet, and they did an Oscar-style uh, award show. Well, it's been getting really, really popular in my neighborhood, and this time they had over 83 entries. When we first started, it was uh, when they first started, it was about maybe 10 to 12 people based, making films. So I wanted to uh, throw my hat and my uh, 
wanted to throw my uh, hand into the ring and see what I came up with, asked Joe to help me out. The assignment I got, I had to make a uh, three-minute film set in the 1990s, a prequel to an Egyptian myth. The whole idea was uh, that night they had mythology as the theme, and you reached into a box and you pulled out an ancient scroll, and whichever, which I gave to Joe as a year of podcasting. Oh, so pulled out the scroll and it said we had to do a prequel to the Egyptian myth of the land of the dead, which basically talks about two men who die. One of them lived a good life, one of them lived a bad life, and what happens to them in the afterlife. I thought to make a prequel, I thought the guy that lived the really nasty life who basically gets damnation in the end would probably be more of an interesting character for a three-minute short. And we had a set in the 1990s, so we used a Daniel Steele novel, we used a uh, disposable camera, and we had a Nokia phone on the desk to, to basically set up the time with that. So with those in mind, this is the debt. Yes. All right. So now I need to do a couple things, some magic here. I've been more than patient with you. Given your current situation, I've given you time to adapt to your position. But that changes today. You will get the job done, or the game will change significantly, beautiful. You know what you must do, as well as the consequences for not making good on the debt. Here you are. Thank you, Ethan. I'll take a white Zimbadel when you have a chance, please. Of course. Thank you. Well, hello there, beautiful. May I buy you a drink? No, I'm okay, thank you. Daniel Steele, huh? You're gonna need a few drinks after reading that. Well, when you put it that way, sure. Thank you. Anything for you, sir? Uh, rum and coke, my good man. Leave him by the riverbank, in the shade this time. Gave him enough so he won't remember the last five hours. I got it under control, beautiful. Unlike last time. What do you want from me? Oh no you don't, Ethan. Remember, you got us into this mess. You've done well. Soon you'll have settled your husband's debt with me. I will call upon you in due time. Until then, they are fine. One day, you'll get what's coming to you, Caleb. <laughs> and we're back on. Nice. Yeah, yeah. So uh, I, I think it went pretty well. Dave, congratulations, sir, on your first uh, writing and directorial uh, debut. Oh, thank you, thank you. That's as many, many hours and many times watching the same film over and over again. And nobody can hear you. <laughs> Basically saying I was very impressed with what you were doing on the computer with while we were Skyping and just seeing how, sending me shot after shot, okay, how do you like this fade and how do you like this? So, And I'm not the easiest person sometimes to work with, so you put up with me, so 
Much appreciated. Uh, Dave, I, I appreciate you thinking enough of me to want to ask me, um, and, and even more enough of me to think that I was too busy to say no. <laughs> well, now I'm not letting you off the hook. For the next time the next one comes around, I'm not giving you a choice. I'm just going to call you and say, yeah, the pick's tonight. We're doing this. Yeah, let me know. Let me know. I'm, I'm down, man. I'm down. I'm always ready. Always, always ready. Awesome. Uh, so, let's see. What else? There was, I think, uh, one or two other things we had left on the on the schedule here that we wanted to hit before we uh, sign off. And where is my list? Oh, here we go. So let's see. Uh, do minute to win at games. We 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 kicked a lot of butt at some of them, <laughs> not so much at one of them. Uh, yeah, Melissa. Melissa did. She she was she mastered that. Uh, Listen, 11, 11 seconds to get the Oreo off your forehead is pretty impressive, bro. Oh, thank you, thank you. That's a skill that will live on with me forever. I, Absolutely, I'm sure. I'm sure. You're uh, the, you're definitely the title holder in the tri-state. <laughs> uh, view the debt movie. So we did that. Uh, raise money for Give Kids the World. We definitely have done that. Can't thank you all enough for that. Uh, hashtag how to dream you know use it wear it with pride if you have the shirt uh, I'll be having more shirts go up live uh, on the website in the not too distant future uh, I want to do some v-necks because I know people like v-necks I like v-necks that's why I got two of them yeah showing, showing off that he can't see it but it's it's a rug <laughs> uh, it's alright man I got I got I got mine going on too so we're, 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 love, we're sharing the, the rug love here uh, Rich Quick performance was amazing. So happy to have you in the building. Thank so thank you, man. I, I really, uh, I really appreciate. I can't even clap with this thing. It's, it's, yeah, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Uh, so before we get going, uh, I just wanted to, to talk real quick about the year that it's been uh, and how how amazing it's been. Of a year, and how I I really am uh, looking forward to everything that that's coming forward in the next year. I got some really huge things going on, and uh, some of you know, some of you don't know. <sighs> let me let me go through some of them. Uh, what do we got? We got a. Uh, I'm going to be hosting a an event down at Podcast Movement, so. That's really cool. Can't wait to do that. Uh, get to be in front of like a hundred some people and and just get to be awesome for uh, for like six hours, You're hosting and, and introducing speaker after speaker after speaker after speaker, and it's it's going to be amazing. Um, let's see the the other thing that I have going on uh, the Let's Talk. If you're a blogger, if you're a podcaster, go into Facebook and type in Let's uh, Let's Talk blogging tips or podcasting tips. We do that once a week, on usually on Mondays. Uh, we talk about all kinds of podcasting tips. I get to learn. They get to learn. Everybody gets to learn. Anthony's been a huge supporter of it, so thank you very much, Anthony, for, for coming in and, and getting to not only learn, but to show off uh, some of the things that you've learned, and I get to learn in the process. So always much to blog. Uh, my camera guy is a little drunk here. I mean, not drunk. He's just... Just <laughs> water, lots of water. <laughs> He's getting dehydrated. That's the that's really the problem, obviously. Uh, let's see. We uh, I've been teaching kids. If you don't know, I've been teaching kids at Holy Trinity Regional School, not far from here. Uh, how to podcast? We're really close to getting to launch. Hopefully, we'll have episode zero and one launched at Squad, S Q U A D cast.org. Jason just asked, why am I doing that? Well, a little while ago, I had Andrew Zapley on my show. Happens to go to Holy Trinity Regional School. I got involved. I helped out. I brought speakers. I became friends with people there, and we talked, and they were like, we love this idea of a podcast. Let's let's get one for the school. And I was like, look, I'll do one better for you. I'll teach the kids how to do it so they can do it rather than just me doing it because I'm I don't go to the school. I never went to the school and, and I'm just some guy. But if I teach the kids how to do it, they can run it on their own and it'll be amazing. And and uh, so far it's been an amazing journey. There's nine kids in the program. Uh, shout out to Raphael and, and, and now that I still have one name I gotta say them all. Uh, but you all know who, who you are, Zach, uh, uh, Doug, Sophia, um, Talia, 
uh, man, I I I love I love them all. They're all great, um, and I, I'm really looking forward to working with them. Not just this year, but going into next year. So I, I do that once a week. Uh, I'm actually starting up. For those who don't know, I'm starting up my own school so that people know how to uh, can learn how to build a platform like I have built. How to how to make awesome websites and podcasts and videos and eventually build your own websites to you know become small businesses. So it's starting as a platform building process and eventually we'll go into more than just a platform building process. Uh, all kind, like I have this huge mind map, I have a partner I'm working with, it's gonna be awesome. It's gonna take a lot of time and a lot of effort though to get it off the ground. Um, part of the reason is also because I need, uh, admittedly need to start bringing in money myself. Uh, you know, Everybody needs money to make things go around, and this is one of the way, just one of the ways that I want to be able to make that happen. So uh, the other thing uh, that's been weighing on my mind a lot is with all these other things going on, because the the to go along with the, the podcast movement event, uh, I'm working on getting more speaking events, uh, going out there showing kids how to figure out what their dreams are and how to make them and put them into real world situations. Also looking to uh, show people how to build their own platforms like I've done. So there's a lot, a lot of things going on, a lot of things I'm working towards uh, to, to be able to bring income and to continue to make this, this all go forward. With that said, and it pains me to say this, Dreamers Podcast is going to be going down to one day a week starting this week, and you don't have to hoot and holler there, Jeanette. I know. I know it'll be a lot easier to catch up. <laughs> I know September, September, and it, it'll be September like, before we even know it. This whole summer will just blow right by us. But, uh, but with that said, going down to one day a week is not the end of the show by far. It's far, far from the end of the show. But it does open up for this other project that I have going on. Because if I, as if I didn't have enough with running and, and everything else, it, 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 all in the grand scheme of things, um, I'm actually starting up a, another show with a good friend of mine, Krista Joy, who I wish was here. She might be watching right now. If you are, Krista, and I guess she couldn't get in, it's okay. <laughs> Still love you anyway. You're doing awesome things. We're going to do awesome things together. It's called Living the Dream Podcast. And you can go to livingthedreampodcast.com. It's all about showing people how to enhance their journey uh, on the way of, of, of getting to live their dream. And uh, it's it's a really awesome project. I'm really looking forward to working with Crystal on it. Uh, and there's some other great people. Josh uh, is, has been intricate. He, there, if you go there right now, the, these, there's a blog that he has been upkeeping constantly. So he, he every single day there's another post. And it's not it's based out of Orlando right now, but we're we're working towards making it more of a national thing. So a lot of the posts are based in Orlando, but Orlando is one of the capital, you know, places that you go to enjoy vacations and stuff like that. So it's it, it kind of makes sense. But it's not a Disney podcast. Definitely not a Disney podcast. It is more of an Orlando right now based podcast, soon to be more of a national, uh, on the national side of things. And we already have some really, I mean, <laughs> I don't, I don't want to jinx myself like with the technology thing. We already have some really awesome, awesome, awesome guests lined up. Some of them are in the Disney community. Some of them, I don't want to jinx myself, but are really, you know, amazing celebrity type people. So, so it's not just interviews, but we're going to do some interviews as well mixed in, and it's, it's going to be an awesome, along for the ride kind of show. So, yeah, it's going to be awesome working with a team of people rather than just myself uh, for five days a week, three days a week, and now just one day a week. So, uh, yeah, i uh, lo really looking forward to that, and I think that's all I got in me right now. <laughs> It's been it's been an amazing amazing night and uh, I, I can't thank everybody enough for not just donating but being a part of it. Uh, I'm sorry. Oh, I thought somebody said something. Rich quick. Hashtag how to dream. 
<laughs> on all social networks, <laughs> as we know. <laughs> you know, 10 years ago, Rich, did you ever think you'd be standing in my garage uh, doing this? I mean, honestly... Sorry. It's a little microphone tech problem. Listen, if there's one thing that we learned in that, that teen center, which th that was the goal of that place where we were at, was to teach us how to dream and pursue those dreams. So it's only right that, that we're here together tonight. Yeah, man. And I appreciate it, man. I'm, I'm truly inspired by, by this energy. It's it definitely is uh <laughs> it's been an amazing night and it's been an amazing year uh to say, to say the least. Hey Joe, before uh I get going, I just want to let you know on behalf of me myself and iradio.com we're donating fifty dollars to the charity. Aw, Anthony. Thank well, you so much. Awesome. Thanks for everything. Great event, man. Thank well you done. very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Very very much appreciated. Uh, it's amazing what you can, what you, you know, the friends that you can find and build. I mean, Lori came all the way from Virginia. Jeanette's for, here from New York. Uh, Dave was here, is here from New York. You know, Jason's here from one town over. <laughs> Rich Quick's one town over. There we go. <laughs> I know, I know. Hey, I, I came from Massachusetts, though, That's true. to he be did. here. He could have he just stayed up there. He could have just stayed yeah, up there. Yeah, I could have just stayed there. Or been like, I'm too tired for this. I, I'm not doing this. It's okay. It's all good. But no, he's here, and, and that it means a lot to me. So uh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you all. This this was truly inspiring. It, it, it really awesome. <sighs> it's it's been it's been an amazing night, and unfortunately, it's uh, it's time to to go. So uh, you know, I think I, I think I have a song. I think I have a song to to. To end this uh, this night on, I don't I don't think most people would appreciate it. I know Jeanette won't appreciate it because of who who sings the song. Oh, no, not <laughs> <laughs> he's not he's not a uh, a homosexual fish. I promise you. Oh, my, my man, yay! Yeah, my <laughs> man too, man. I'm t I'm t I'm he gets you. a bad rap. Well, I mean, he's done some he's done some foot and mouth things, but uh, absolutely. But but you know, he he's learned from it. It's just people don't people don't see. I'm not so sure that he's learned yeah. from it. I I think yes. You need to listen to some of his newer interviews. Oh, but it's, Beyonce should win a number of did awards. You, did you actually listen to the album that Beth put together? It was okay. I mean, I don't know if Beyonce's album was any good. I I don't know. Didn't listen, but uh. So we're we're gonna uh, we're gonna end it with this uh, this song here. Hashtag how to dream on all social and, uh, networks. And the me the message in the song is to not give up.